Hi guys, welcome to our second best possible squad builder of FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Maybe even third, I don't know. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like rating on the video, and hit the bell button as well so you never miss an upload. What happens uh, with these guys who build the highest rated team? It's not the best team in terms of how it plays, but it is the highest rated possible team you can get of Juventus. Now, you guys can build these on Foothead, you can build them on Footbin, uh, Footwiz, all the other foot sites as well. But the difference between that and this is I actually get to play with the team, see how they play, and see if any of the players are worth your well-valued coins. That's, uh, that's summer, um, especially one of the new players which goes into the team. Now you can see, We've got Alexandro. He unfortunately makes it to the bench. Same with Kadira and also Cancelo. Them three players could make it into the team in a different formation, but for this, they do not. So with this, we're going to get on and build it, guys, in the goalkeeper position. We've even got the manager as well. In the goalkeeper position, we are going to go with a nice goalkeeper of mine. I've actually got two versions of him. A red 86 and a red 87 rated. It is Loic Chesney um, going on. Why check Chesney? Why don't like Chesney? Wojciech Szczesny, I don't even say his name correctly, he goes in the goalkeeper position, I first read in form, um, and only read in form in the team actually, because I haven't been uh, lucky enough to pack any of these players, um, in terms of red versions, uh, really good goalkeeper actually, I played four games with him, he felt really, really good and uh, did the business when needed, in the centre back position on the left hand side we've got in form Chiellini, Benucci Champions League version and Benatia Champions League version that completes the back line the problem with this team is the lack of pace like you guys if you played FIFA now you'll know that the pace barrier and defenders especially with team of the year being out you guys definitely do want the 80 pace defenders and there's a lot of them about now now obviously this team could be changed a little bit with uh, Alexandro being at left back and then Cancelo being at right back but um, to bring in as many of the central midfielders that Juventus do have in the team, we've had to go up this route, and there is a lot of players in the Juventus backline um, which are awesome anyway, like of Chiellini, uh, which I don't really see come up against him. Usually when I see Alexandro, he's usually partnered with another player, and it's not the likes of Kadira, it's usually someone else um, as well, which we'll take a look. But we've got 71 pace, 92 defending on that Chiellini, a brilliant card, uh, Benatia, and Benucci, these are just like plus ones on the base cards. Not really worth the money spent on them because you can see I paid 52k uh, for that Benucci, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to get rid of him directly after this. Uh, and the same for Benatti, I paid like 80k for him. And his price is pretty high as well. Uh, but they're only Champions League versions. They're not anything special, even though there is like Champions League live versions. And there's quite a few of them. Uh, as well in the team. The first Champions League live version, guys, is going to be Douglas Costa, uh, 88 rated, uh, 97 pace, 93 dribbling. Uh, we have used him for four games, one goal, one assist, 287k paid, but that was back a while ago now. Whoa, 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 whoa. We made some money on him. Not bad. I know I picked up a lot of the live versions, and he was one of them I picked up. In the right mid, we got another live version, guys, which is the 87 rated Quadrado. Uh, he, we paid 329, we paid four games, one assist with him. How much did you pay for him again? 329. Yeah, I paid for him a little bit late, but I don't, don't really see these players. I don't really come up against them in foot champions or rivals. None of these players, in fact, I do come up with. Now, that might change with the future stars because as of um, the other day, guys, a new player did come in and it is the Benteke, Um 89 rated. He is worth about 400k as I'm making the video. Um, 83 pace, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 85 defending, 84 physical. He's a bit of a tank. And uh, we started using him and Kadira mixing in between in the highlights and you'll see that as well. But Benteke is definitely one of the good additions into FIFA. Uh, with the stars that he have, have added into the game. In the centre mid on the right hand side. You guys may have seen him. It was the red um, the red version of Matuidi. 87 rated. Uh, 80, 80 pace. And I don't really see him either. I usually see the normal version used. But 80 pace. 81 defending. 85 physical. 85 defending. And uh, that completes like the holding midfield. But now we're going to the attacking side of things. Now with this. I was tempted to like maybe move it about a little bit. And uh, go with a different. Uh, a different cam, maybe Benteke would be in better shout in cam position than the player we have got in here is Pjanic. Um, but, I don't know who... No, I think I'd still rather have Pjanic there. Uh, 68 pace, 88 uh, passing, 87 dribbling. Um, not a bad play. You can see, guys, four games, two assists. And it, the, the main idea of this team was to try and smash it in the attack. Obviously, use these players to get the ball into the attack, and that's when the business can happen because the attackers, they are pretty spot on. 
in the striker position on the right hand side, we have got the Champions League team of the group stage Dybala, which we did pay 528k for. And he's dropped a hell of a lot since I played with him. So I'm going to get 500, 480. That's only two pages of him. But I can't remember if he came out of packs as a cam or a striker. Let's have a look. I'm curious as to what he came out of packs as. Because um, when I picked him up, he was like, look at that Yeah, he came out of packs as a striker, which is one of the reasons why I've got him there. Uh, pretty good card. Uh, we have got... Four games, four goals to assist with him. The previous owner didn't really do... Well, yeah, he's got a good return. Maybe he played him in the camp position, I can't remember, when I transferred him, but still pretty good returns, and he's a Champions League version. And with Team of the Year just happening, guys, we have got a 99 card in this team. It is CR7. The god that is CR7. 97 pace, 99 shooting, 95 passing, 98 dribbling, 95 physical, and... I paid 7.7 uh, 7 million for him. How much? He's the best player on the game, hands down. But, yeah, he's dropped a lot. He has dropped a lot. My God. Uh, so I've overpaid by about a million. But I've got use out of him, guys. 117 games, 145 goals, and 66 assists. He is brilliant. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. His stats are absolutely insane as well. Um, that we put an engine chem style on him, and I still think that isn't good enough, really. We could have definitely had better. But um, that is, guys... The best possible Juventus team you can get on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team as of the 19th of the 1st, um, 2019. So if you guys want to see any more best possibles done, feel free to let me know in the comment section below uh, what you want to see, who you want to see, and uh, we'll get around to doing some in the future. Now, obviously with the future stars, that may ch change the teams. Do you want to see a Man City team done next week, guys? I know the Liverpool team looks pretty juiced up, but um, I have, that was the first one I did. Uh, do you want to see a Barcelona team, Real Madrid team? They've got an alright team as well. Or do you want to see something really different? You guys let me know anyway. This channel is yours. I like to build teams like this. That's one of the reasons why I have the coins that I do. So I can build teams like this and I play around. And uh, yeah, it was an alright team. Definitely enjoyed it. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like rating. Hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. And check out all the other videos on the channel. We've got a pack opening coming up in about six hours time. So check that out, guys. And all the other videos on the channel. Until then, see you later. Have a nice rest of your day. But let's go and get into the highlights. Do you to get with the best possible Juventus team. So, guys, apologies. Didn't really see much of Quadrado's face in that squad builder. But um, you can see, and if you guys did see Marshall's review, it started off against Marshall. And this team was hella hella slow at being able to get the ball forward. Now, we did play some games, guys, without um, Bentico. We actually used uh, Kadira instead uh, for a few games. In the final couple of games, uh, we did use Bentico instead of Kadira. And these games against Marshall did have Kadira in. Now, Ronaldo, you don't want to give him space. You guys, if you have watched my... Um, my rivals runs or my foot champions runs on Twitch, you will know that Ronaldo give him a little bit of space in the air, around in and around the box, he's gonna put it in. Especially with Mike Marshall. Marshall doesn't move the goalkeeper, so goals like that are pretty easy to score. Um but Ronaldo hands down is the best player in FIFA Ultimate Team. I am yet to find a better player than him. And so he should be the best player on the game. He's a 99 rated version at the end of the day. Uh, we then went to another game against Marshall and three at the back formation is just not a competitive run this year. Uh, Costa inside, ball over to Kadira, Kadira inside Dybala and Dybala with a brilliant shot off the bar makes it 3-1 uh, in the game. But um, like I said, Marshall was shutting me down in the midfield pretty easily because of the lack of pace that we had. Uh, even though it does look like a very, very high rated passing team, that wasn't to be. It was a little bit of a mess and it was causing a few issues. Uh, we're trying to move the ball up fast, but what a goal that is, guys. Dybala with a flick and the volley into the far corner made it 4-2. We can tell by the scoreline it was too uh, too late in the game to get it. But then we moved into some games uh, in online single matches because we were looking to get that Serie A thing last week. Uh, ball into Costa, Costa with the flicks, the flicks and the volley, which I think did hit the defender. Or maybe it was a clean hit. Was was pretty nice. Like Costa's good, but his stamina was burnt out by the end of the game. Same for Quadrado as well. The defense is good, but the problem you've got is lack of pace, and the formation itself is not the best. I would have much preferred to have someone with Alexandro in there. Um, but once you can get the ball to the attackers, guys of Ronaldo and Dybala, the ball more than likely is going to go into the back of the net, and it's going to put you a few goals clear. But the problem is getting them ball to the attackers and getting the one twos activated because the likes of Kadira. Um, Kadira, Matuidi, Pjanic and even Ben Takura as well can prove difficult. But once Ronaldo's through, like I said, he's not missing a chance there. Uh, he made it 3-0. 
and my opponent didn't want to see any more of the game, which is fair enough. We we know how good Ronaldo is in this game, so it was going to be a dangerous one uh, for anyone to uh, to get into it. And I'm hoping in the future, if if Cancelo continues the form that he's had with getting special versions on the game, it would be nice to see this formation used in the four at the back. I reckon the Juventus team could be very, very dangerous um, with the players we've got, and even with the Ronaldo guys. El Tornado for days. We can't have a highlight with Ronaldo in the squad builder without an El Tornado, even with the overpowered cross they've got now it might have been good especially with Costa um, and also who is it Costa and Cuadrado two five star skillers so them El Tornado crosses should definitely be uh, flying up ball into Pjanic here you can see the attack waiting for Ronaldo to burst into space sees him inside there cuts it on in and guess what El Tornado cross header pass and a nice finish there and uh, Kadira uh, getting on the score sheet um, there. So they've got the footmost versions as well. A few nice nice, nice versions of the cards, actually. Juventus have got a really good version of the cards. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys want um, done in the future. Do you want any more clubs? Do you want a nation doing? Maybe Netherlands? Because we know ne Netherlands have got a lot of decent cards in the game now, especially after the likes of De Jong and um, De Jong De Ligt. Van Dijk uh, have been released, so it could be a nice team. Maybe that's what we do for next week. Who knows? But guys... That was the final goal, and what a goal it was. Opponent didn't want any more, and there we are done. The best possibles, guys. The second one we've done this year. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, rate, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Have a nice rest of your Sunday, and check out all the other videos.